What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my Let's Play of WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, the PS2 game, playing it through a PC emulator, and today, it appears I will have a cage match, a solid steel cage match, against Shelton Benjamin. But before I get started, I did do a live stream last night. I have a card here for that, because YouTube has botched that entirely, and I don't see it in my video list. But the video is up, it is live, and you can watch it if you would like to, and more live streams coming soon. Stay tuned for that. Anyway, without further ado, let us hop into today's episode, the fine Thursday episode of this week's show. Shelton Benjamin, IC title, steel cage, single pin, and give up. So, I would also assume escape the cage, I would hope, but I don't actually know. I'm also confused as to why Triple H has Lita as his manager. That's a little weird. Now, I got some advice this yesterday. This is it, folks. The main event. The Intercontinental title is on the line in a solid steel cage. The first man to pin his opponent, make him submit, or escape the cage, leaves Unforgiven as the Intercontinental Champion. Finally, someone's going to beat some sense into Shelton Benjamin. He doesn't deserve the Intercontinental title. Did they change my entrance? Like, I don't have the Mysterio... Well, whatever. Uh, I got some advice yesterday that I should go into the individual wrestlers in the creation mode. Go into all the on-disc wrestlers and turn off all of their music. Which took me about a half an hour because it all saves every single time that you do it. So, theoretically, when this game goes into the cutscenes and it plays the music, it won't have the wrestler music. Theoretically. Nope. Doesn't work. I'm sorry. I tried, uh, but Shelton Benjamin's music here is totally playing. Uh, so, unfortunately, uh, that theory of turning off every single wrestler's music to get rid of it in these scenes in the season mode is not. You can't. It won't let you, which is a shame because it's a pain in the ass to edit around. Believe me, it is. Alright, uh, I also have the escape out the door option, which, you know, is uh, interesting. And we'll see how that goes. Whoa there, Shelton. Uh, but yes, welcome to a fine Thursday. There is some wrestling news to discuss on this show. First and foremost, we have some 2K18 uh, kind of semi-news, but not really news. Uh, and that being that Big Van Vader has confirmed he'll be in the game. And the game will be out in October. Uh, and then he pretty much immediately deleted that tweet. And, you know, so... Uh, Obviously, Vader being in the game, not really a surprise, uh, because he was in last year's game, uh, and he's been in, obviously, a bunch of other years of the game, so it's not that big of a deal, but, uh, kind of not anything that we didn't already know. Oh, nice suplex. Nice suplex, Shelton. I'm probably gonna lose this match, because I'm bad at steel cage matches, because that's just the way it is, unfortunately. Uh, alright, stop in the green. Where's the field? Um... Not cool, trying to take out my legs so he can, I can't chase him up the cage. Or at least that's, I would imagine, his plan, uh, being a smart wrestler and whatnot. Really, he's just really just going after the legs here. Uh, he's really going after my legs. But I got out of it again. Now, can I actually recover from any of this? Probably not. Come on. These reversals are not working. There we go. For me. Not as much as I, as I would like, anyway. Here we go. Neckbreaker! Alright, we need to hit the Salt Shaker. Stop backing up! There we go. Nope. Man, this game's got hard. Like, I don't know. I beat Triple H on that first show. And now I'm fighting Shelton Benjamin and still on normal. And I'm having more problems. Pump handle. Toss. Over the back. Slugaroni. It takes too long to complete. It really does. It's a shame. Anyway, um, elsewhere in the news, uh, we have, uh, a house show announcement, which is Nakamura Kevin Owens for, uh, I guess the lead up to potentially SummerSlam. Oh, right to the side of the head. So, that may be the, the Nakamura program after, uh, he is done with Dolph Ziggler at, uh, the pay-per-view here, uh, Backlash, which is next Sunday. I believe is coming up pretty soon here. So, 
That could be cool. There we go. Boom! Right into the cage. Boom! And then speared him. Speared out of his boots. Um. Horakarana. No. Just mounting punches. Sure. I'll take that. Any bit of success here, I will... Oh, ref bump. Well, ref bump. Relax, Shelton. Relax, Shelton. Um, elsewhere, uh, the WrestleMania DVD. And I would question who's buying WrestleMania on DVD. But the WrestleMania DVD uh, will not feature the pre-show. Because obviously WrestleMania was five hours. Uh, and apparently it's not going to feature the two-hour pre-show. Which, at a certain point... Okay, you're, you're going to say, okay, well, how many, how many DVDs is it going to be in that package? Because that's a lot, you know? Um... So, that's kind of unfortunate, because that Neville match, uh, ne ne uh, Neville Austin Aries, uh, was a pretty good match. So, uh, it's a shame that they won't make it on the DVD, but again, at this point, you should have the network. Why are you buying it on DVD? I, I, I mean, I would imagine it's the same thing on Blu-ray, but I don't actually know for sure. Um, so I guess there is that. I guess those are, those are kind of the main, uh, news stories on this fine Thursday. Um... But I did want to kind of talk a little bit about uh, this year's Money in the Bank. Uh, because it is a, a SmackDown exclusive. A hot... A, a hot exclusive. A hot exclusive. Uh, SmackDown exclusive. I hit L1. He reversed it. He reversed my finisher. That's... Alright. I'm gonna lose. And I'm gonna lose, Shelton. Um, because I feel like we have some pretty good contenders for potential... Main event guys after the superstar shakeup on SmackDown, and uh, when it comes to Money in the Bank, you got to wonder who, who, who would be in line for that uh, briefcase and that victory and that potential world title run. Now, I think it's entirely possible that we're going to see uh, this whole storyline where Rusev refuses to show up uh, until. Money in the Bank, unless he get, un, 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 unless he is granted a world title match, I think that might play out in terms of okay, uh, okay, Rusev, we're not going to give you a title shot at Money in the Bank, but we will put you in the Money in the Bank match, uh, and that potentially lines him up to win that match. So that is entirely possible, and uh, would not surprise me. I think also a strong contender, Baron Corbin, is a very strong contender for. Money in the Bank briefcase holder. Um, I'm sure you'll have guys like Se Sami Zayn in that match and Luke Harper in that match. You know, your your upper mid card guys uh, will definitely. Shelton, since when did you feel like being a submissions expert here? It's really grinding my gears. It's really getting on my nerves. Bo! Oh, come on. Do the gut kick. Do the gut kick. What are you. Oh, you're the worst, Shelton. You're the worst. Reverse a thing. Really? Really? Kick! Oh, come on! Ah! Uh, he's not letting me do it. <sighs> wow. Okay. No, Shelton, you're not gonna hit your... Really? He did it again. He did it again. This game is conspiring against me to not ever hit a finisher. Uh, that's kind of insane. Pile driver! Making a break for it, JR. Climb the cage. Wow, that's yep. This is uh no. I'm not gonna win this cage match. Congratulations. If if, if you thought, man, I'm gonna tune in today and watch attacks like do a cage match and watch him lose, then you are probably right. Cause Shelton Benjamin is like he has the golden ticket here, uh, in this match. Boom. Whoop my uh I have Tried to hit finishers on him twice. Twice. And he has reversed it. So, how am I supposed to win if I can't actually hit the Salt Shaker? How? How? How can I do it? Alright. Um, we're going to go for it a third time. We're going to go for it. Or, we'll just do a Bob Backlund crossface chicken wing here. Uh, I got the wrong, the wrong button there. Well, you're a little late there, Lawler. You're a little late. You're a little late. 
on the, he might make, make, make his opponent tap. If anyone's gonna tap in this match, it's gonna be me, which is, uh, not great. Not great. So, yeah, let's try to hit some on the ground, uh, submission maneuvers on the head, specifically, and see if that actually, because his head's pretty damaged it's in the red. So, let's see if. Nope, that was something I wanted to do. Kinshasha! That was not my intention, but. Here we go. Here we go. Mash the X button to apply the pressure. You will not escape. You will not escape. Shelton Benjamin, tap out. Yeah, I won the match. I knew his head was damaged. Yeah. Here is your winner and new Intercontinental Champion on that belt. I don't like like. I, I like the old IC belt Cut design. The music. Cut the music. What? Easy E. I'm back. An obscure WWE regulation has just been brought to my attention. As it turns out, the title cannot be contested in a steel cage during the month of September. I got robbed. I got and screwed here. Since this is September, and that is a steel cage, I've got no choice but to void the referee's decision. This should have come up in a meeting somewhere for the match hat, right? No, I think he's right, JR. That sounds like the Virgil Reynolds Amendment. That's Dusty. Been on the for years. Dusty. Hold on. Hot time. Virgil Reynolds. Uh. Due to the extraordinary circumstances, Surrounding this title match, Pause. I feel that it's only fair to. Oh, good. Vacate the title until a proper rematch can be made. So we fight vacate at the next the pay per view. What the hell is sure. Bischoff playing it? Oh boy. Well, in any event, you would think if I'm a heel here and Bischoff's a heel thing, you know. Why is he screwing me? But I like the Virgil Reynolds thing because that's totally Dusty Rhodes, which is really funny. Hot oh, damn. Well, at least I won the match. So that's, you know, I guess a step in the right direction. Again, I feel like unlike previous years of games, unlike Here Comes the Pain and Shut Your Mouth and uh, even last year's, it feels like they have a story that they want to tell. And winning and losing doesn't really matter to that story, uh, because they're going to do whatever they want to do anyway. So, I don't know. We'll see how things continue tomorrow. I am your host, Attack Slug. More videos every day. And I'll see you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out.